In 1980, my father offered 50 acres of land to build a Buddhist centre here in the Whipstick Forest of Bendigo. This initial gift was added to with land from my mother and myself, so that we now have over 200 acres or 85 hectares of land. In 1981, Lama Yeshe came here to Bendigo and laid out his master plan for the entire site. This plan now includes a monastery, Buddhist center, nunnery, aged care facility, group accommodation, library, interpretive center, restaurant, hotel, a village, and even a primary school. And right in the middle, the great stupa of universal compassion. Our aim is that this whole site will be off the grid and an example of how sustainable a little city can be. Senior Buddhist monk Tupton Gyatso is the founder of Tupton Sherapling Monastery, the first Australian Buddhist monastery in our tradition. The monastery has its own temple and accommodation for over 20 monks. And a teacher centre has offered regular meditation courses, teachings and retreats for over 35 years. The Great Stupa is like a spiritual mountain, and just as a mountain has many paths to the top, some steep and difficult, and some more winding and gentle, our stupa has many doors which open onto shrine rooms which represent different aspects of the Buddha and different paths to enlightenment. Following advice from Lama Zopa Rinpoche, the Great Stupa is based on the Great Stupa of Gyantse in Tibet. It's 50 metres wide and rises to a height of just under 50 metres. This makes it the largest stupa in the Western world. His Holiness the Dalai Lama named the stupa the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. He said, this stupa will be very significant for Buddhist spirituality and Tibetan culture. When His Holiness came here to bless the Great Stupa in 2007, he said it should become a center of interfaith study and Buddhist science dialogue. The Great Stupa has been engineered and built to last for at least 1,000 years. It will cost around $20 million, not including any of the artwork, and it's funded by supporters from around the world, as well as donations from visitors like you. We plan to complete the construction of the Great Stupa within the next few years. We'll then begin the decoration phase. In the Exhibition Centre, you'll see many of the precious items which have been offered to the Great Stupa. Foremost amongst these are the holy relics of the Buddha and many holy saints. You'll also be able to see and touch the real jade halo of the Jade Buddha, which was carved from an offcut of Polar Pride. You're welcome to view all items. We simply ask that you take off your shoes before entering the relics area. You may have also heard of our Jade Buddha project. In the year 2000, in the far north of Canada, an enormous 18-ton boulder of jade was unearthed. Its size and quality led it to be described as the find of the millennium and it was given the name Polar Pride. I saw Polar Pride in Canada in 2003. The next day Lama Zopa Rinpoche had a vision that Polar Pride would become a Buddha that would illuminate the world. It took another five years to complete the Jade Buddha which is the largest Buddha carved from gem quality jade in the world. Lama Zopa Rinpoche has called it the Jade Buddha for Universal Peace. The beauty and size of the statue have attracted worldwide attention. A tour dedicated to peace began in Da Nang, Vietnam in March 2009. The Jade Buddha has since visited more than 100 cities all over the world and close to 10 million people have come to see it. After the tour concludes, the Jade Buddha will come to its final home at the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. On your way to the Great Stupa, you will pass through the Peace Park, which will feature symbols from many different faiths. 
you'll also pass memorials to loved ones which have been placed around the Great Stupa. Inside the Great Stupa you'll see large statues including a fiberglass Buddha which was cast directly from the Jade Buddha and a brass statue of Padmasambhava which was consecrated by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. And don't miss our two big festivals, the Festival of Light in May and the Vegetarian Festival in October each year. We hope that you enjoy your visit to the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion and invite you to come back regularly so that you can see our progress in creating the Great Stupa as well as the monastery, a teacher centre and this entire Buddhist project which is being set up to be a benefit to all beings.